Welcome to the NEBOSH revision videos. My name is Dr Julie Riggs and I will be sharing additional free resources for those studying their NEBOSH certificate. This video is designed to complement element 7, chemical and biological health hazards and risk controls. Within this video we will be exploring an exam question, the techniques for answering and how to ensure maximum points. As I tell all students, to get exam success you really have to concentrate on how to get the maximum marks. So I always advise students that 25% of the points are usually down to general knowledge. Another 25% of the marks are good technical knowledge and the remaining 50% it's really all about exam technique. Just as a reminder, these videos are only really to be used to support material. They're not intended to be your sole educational aid for passing NEBOSH exams. OK, so let's have a look at a question. The first question we're going to look at states, give four possible ill health effects that could result from working with cement, which is four marks. You may wish to pause the video at this point to enable you some time to work out the answer. Obviously there are four points so you want to give yourself the maximum of four minutes. Before we start we want really to be able to analyze the question so let's look at the question again. The first point from this question is that it says give four possible ill health effects. So according to Niebosch give is provide without explanation. So in other words, they're looking for short, succinct answers. On the next stage, the question is asking for four examples. Therefore, we want to ensure that the answers are quite diverse. And you can see that there are four marks, which also indicate that the examiner is looking for these four different responses. The examiner also wishes to see ill health. So therefore, we do not want to see any safety related answers here, such as if you drop a bag of cement on your foot, it could break your toe. That's clearly a safety answer and not an ill health response. And finally, don't miss the key in this question. It's only looking for answers related to cement. A good exam technique whilst answering these questions if you know that you're likely to start answering the question before you've read it properly, put your pen down. It will, it's a quite a physical reaction and it ensures that you stop properly to look at the question. You may like to underline any key words and you can see that we've pulled out the markings. The, we can also point out any sort of key words in there and you might also want to underline the action verb. OK, so let's actually work out the answer using a model from a previous training video. So in this answer, you want to ensure that you give quite diverse answers. In other words, we don't want to see just answers related to absorption or just answers related to acute or chronic. We want to see a range. So in here, we can use a model and we can see that there are four routes of entry into the body. We can also understand that there are acute ill health effects and chronic and we can use this as an example. So let's focus on absorption. We can see that there are some acute effects from cement such as burns from contact with wet cement or irritation to the skin from cement dust. We can also have some chronic effects such as dermatitis from cement dust and wet cement. If we look at inhalation, we can see that we have inhalation to nose and throat from cement dust and some of the chronic responses can be respiratory or chest complaints from cement dust such as occupational asthma, silicosis or lung cancer. Using these techniques will help you to work out your answer. You might find it useful to actually do a little mind map on the exam answer sheet and this will ensure again that you're giving quite diverse answers. So here are some responses. And remember, it's a four point question here. So I've given a few more answers just as examples. To help the examiner, you may wish to bullet point each answer. So it's really clear what response you're giving. If you don't wish to bullet point, you may find it helpful to underline the keywords. 
If you found this video useful, please like or subscribe to this channel. With positive feedback, we will continue to upload further videos to assist with your studies. Good luck with your learning program.